Hello, my name's Catherine, and welcome to another podcast from Anglais.re and OTV. The weekend had got off to a good start. My husband and a couple of friends had plans to hike to Marla, but as the route forestière leading up to Col des Beaux was closed due to roadworks, we had decided to start by hiking across the Plaine aux Sables. After an hour's trek, we reached a junction in the path, only to find a big footpath closed sign. So we had no option but to turn around and go back the way we came, and then walk up the route forestière before really starting the hike. All this meant that we arrived at Marla later than planned, as night was falling. At the time, there was only one gîte in the hamlet, and unfortunately it was being renovated, so the school was being used as temporary accommodation. The whole room was chock-a-block with bunk beds, only separated from each other by sheets of tarpaulin. As the four of us arrived last, we had the only available beds left. My husband and I had adjacent top bunk beds, and the couple of tourists below agreed to move the bunk beds closer. We slept badly, as they made the most of being side by side, I found out next morning that our friends on the other side of the room had been woken in the middle of the night to find their bunk bed neighbour injecting himself, albeit with insulin. It had also started to rain during the night, and we left the gîte under a downpour. To head back to Col des Beaux, we had to cross two gullies, which had been streams the previous day, but overnight, rainfall had turned them into raging torrents. Our two male companions crossed by jumping from stone to stone, but I, seeing my life flash before me if I was to slip and fall, decided I'd be better off wading across. In the first stream, the water only came up to my thighs, and I imagine the second would be the same, but I actually found myself in chest-high water. When we finally made it back to our vehicle, we were all completely drenched, exhausted, and shivering with the cold. We put the heating on in the car, not realizing that this would drain the battery, however, and that when we wanted to start the car, the battery would be flat. So our eventful weekend ended with one of our party, who shall remain nameless, back out in the rain, pushing the car to get it started in their underwear. <laughs>